Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick look at the latest newest version of Google Chrome version 66 that was released on April 17th yesterday um, afternoon so I've of course uh, postponed the uh, quick look because I always want to test it out so I uh, tested out Google Chrome all day today to uh, see if it goes well and you know you never know sometimes with new releases you might have bugs or problems and uh, but you know in this case it works really really well and have had pretty much no problems so uh, Google Chrome 66 how to know if you have the latest version well just uh, you know click on your Google Chrome browser go on the upper right corner in the three vertical dots and go into help there you'll just click about Google Chrome and if you're on version 66 well it's gonna tell you that it's up to date if you're not well it's gonna actually force the Chrome browser to update itself so what's new in this version of Google Chrome um, well first of all there's a new media uh, behavior for autoplay content so basically if you have pages and we all go to different websites where some pages have autoplay content uh, from time to time well it's muted by default and also it has no restrictions permissions so that means that you won't hear whatever is playing on a page that you don't want it to play and uh, it also restricts that page but it is something that Chrome learns that means it's blocked automatically but if you go to a website and you actually activate the autoplay on that website it will learn and it will actually finally have the content play on the websites that it knows you want it to play passwords uh, passwords export feature you can now download a, a CSV file a comma separated value file in managed passwords so uh, that's a little something to export different passwords from you know your websites and so on they have site isolation and this is in trial right now so basically what's that it means that every website will have its own process and each process will be independent from the other web pages opens process so that there's no mix-up of you know a process wanting to maybe try to uh, connect to another process uh, or the same process in another web page so this will not be permitted and it's actually to mitigate the Spectre bug the famous Spectre bug from the uh, Intel chips so uh, you know this will have different versions and different working um, features with um, you know browsers because it's the first line of defense for the Spectre bug and there will be you know as time goes by new fixes and new ways of dealing with the Spectre bug um, Chrome 66 will also not trust websites uh, that have the certificates that are issued by the Symantec's legacy PKI and this is very simple um, more and more um, malicious websites actually use Symantec's legacy PKI certificates to try to pass for legitimate good websites so um, they are blocking these uh, certificates to make sure that they aren't used by malicious websites anymore also 62 62 you've read really really well 62 security bugs that have been actually fixed and it's interesting because they have a detailed uh, list of the security um, bug and the amount of money they actually uh, gave to each of the security bugs uh, there are some of the security bugs in there that were given three four five six seven thousand dollars pretty crazy so um, it's, it's very very interesting and you know you see that the bug the bug bounty program is really um, working uh, at Google to help fix so 62 security bugs so if you know if you don't really care about the different features for one thing uh, just up, upgrade for that reason just the 62 security flaws in there that actually were fixed and that were 
leaving you vulnerable base, basically in the uh, Chrome 65. So make sure that you update for at least for that. And uh, one last thing that um, Chrome 66 can do, it also um, is compatible with the Oculus Rift. So um, this is something new to Google Chrome, but it's not activated by default. You got to activate it if you want it to work. So this is the latest version of Google Chrome uh, for browsing. Uh, seems to work well. I haven't seen, you know, it's not faster, not slower, no slowdowns. It seems to work well. And I've had no security, no, no bugs at all, I mean, uh, while using it or crashes or, you know, websites that didn't display well or anything. So uh, basically, uh, seems to be pretty stable and pretty good uh, for a uh, for Google Chrome's latest version. So number 66, remember, if you want to see if you have the latest version, three vertical dots on the upper right corner, help about Google Chrome. And if it's not at the latest version, you'll see it update and require a restart of the browser to be updated. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.